Hi everyone, my name is Fatma Farshid and I am a design verification engineer working in Tennis Engineers, which is a semiconductor company based in Lahore, Pakistan. So uh, today I'm going to be talking about my respite journey. It all started back in 2019 when I graduated from electrical engineering. Soon after, I joined an organization named Zephyr Milan, whose aim was to train people in the area of semiconductors, uh, particularly risk life, and prepare them for jobs in the industry. So at the time, Lampo had launched its first train to recruit program, and I became one of the 25 people who formed the first group for this program. So the training people, uh, the training period at Lampo Milan had lasted for about six months to the initial train in the areas of design verification. We started with basic computer architecture, and then we moved on to the uh, verification of actual risk pipe course. So those six months of training did not at all come easy to me. I was an electrical power systems graduate and had no prior experience in this field. So I found myself to be lost and confused most of the time. Uh, but I think that's true for any career path because your experience is completely full of bumps. Uh, but what these experiences do for you in the long run is worth the challenges that they put you through, I believe because they also enable you to meet some really amazing people along the way. Your friends and your mentors will help guide you through and make the unknown less scary. So I also have had to meet some really amazing people. And I believe that what uh, actually contributed to the success of this training was that risk five, it has always had a very welcoming and a strong community. So this meant that all the resources that we required, everything that was freely available on the internet, and that would easily be looked at. It also meant that we had access to actual commercial projects that we could work on and we were prepared for jobs in this field. So the two verification projects that we worked on during our training, they used Western Digital's Swerve E2 processor and Sci-Fi's E21 processor. I think that this also highlights the fact why we chose to start with RISC 5 instead of the already established architectures. Uh, RISC 5, it had been introduced just recently and we weren't much behind. So we were able to catch the RISC 5 wave early. Also, since RISC 5 is free and open source, so we do not have to pay any royalty fees to work on it or require its resources. On the contrary, had we chosen to work with the other established architectures, say ARM or x86, we would have required a significant amount of capital to work on it and experienced personnel as well. Uh, and not to mention that the community could not have been as welcoming as risk by class well. But uh, I think with a lot of credit for this, it also goes to uh, Dr. Naveed Shalwani, Dr. Krista, Dr. Yansapi, and some of the sci-fi team members who came to Pakistan and they trusted us with this initiative. It was their willingness to invest in our country that actually sowed the seeds for setting up a semiconductor ecosystem in Pakistan later onwards. Uh, today, the people who trained at Lampo Milan are serving at several startups across Pakistan. So uh, now going over back to the journey, uh, I concluded the training period and started working as an associate design engineer in Lampo Milan. For a year, I worked on verification projects that, uh, that involved risk by course from sci-fi. And in June 2021, I joined Linux Engineers as a design verification engineer. So uh, I would like to take a moment here to explain what a verification engineer does and what are the uh, subjects that I had to learn to become one. And so uh, there are multiple steps involved in the design and verification of a chip. So once we have the design ready, we need people to test that the design is behaving as per the intent or the specification, the specifications provided. So uh, that's basically where a uh, verification engineer comes in. They have to ensure that there are no bugs or untested scenarios left in the design um, because any bugs, if present, have to be cut before the verification process because unlike software bugs, the cost of fixing hardware bugs have actually run into millions of dollars. Uh, so as for the subjects that I had to learn, uh, involve, uh, they included 
uh, basic system logic design, uh, computer architecture, VLSI design, operating systems, uh, embedded C programming, object-oriented programming, and some basic tools such as Git and Make. So to conclude, I think we can all agree that RISC V has indeed revolutionized the era of processor innovation. And it has provided everyone with an equal opportunity, irrespective of their geographical location, to contribute towards the development of this architecture. Thanks to RISC V, now companies can design and fabricate chips uh, without having to worry about paying any royalty fees or an association to a big organization. This has opened up the doors to innovation like never before. Uh, my advice to students would be that any graduate who's considering a career in this field should definitely explore SPIFE because the opportunities uh, to learn here, they are tremendous, both on the software and the hardware side. Uh, you also don't have to worry about uh, any capital or being part of a big organization to work on this architecture. Uh, anywhere, anyone, anywhere in the world can contribute towards this uh, architecture. And you can be part of open source developments. You can uh, create your own startups. You can be part of some big company or you can uh, work independently. The choices here are limitless. Um, before I end, I would also like to uh, point one more thing. It's often our fear of certain subjects that drives a career choices. Uh, because as I mentioned, I was an electrical power systems graduate because I always felt that I would not be able to excel at anything that involved programming. But I had the uh, chance to challenge myself uh, and it has been a really big challenge, but I had that chance to challenge myself and learn that uh, with the right amount of perseverance and effort, anything is possible and anything can be achieved. And that's something that I would like to pass along today as well, that uh, you will not know what you're built of until you put yourself to the test. So, um, I think I'm now better able to understand what Robert Frost also meant when he wrote that uh, two roads diverged in a wood and I, I chose the one that's traveled by and that has made all the difference. Thank you.